Hi guys, here's a really really easy way to set a correct gain structure for an amp. Uh, this is the Ampeg Portaflex 500 and I'm running it through a uh, classic SVT-15E. Uh, it's actually been upgraded to a 15 inch 450 watt eminence kappa driver for anyone that's <laughs> into, the, into the techiness. Anyway, um, we're going to start off with volume completely off, uh, the gain completely down, and the EQ is all flat, there's no compression or anything else going on. And what you want to do is effectively play like quite a, quite an aggressive note. Now that's just an open A, and then what you're going to do with that is turn up the gain into a point at which the little peak light comes on. And uh, most amps will have this, it'll either be like clip or warning, or there'll be some kind of emergency uh, little light that comes on when you're sending too much um, signal from a preamp to the speaker and it starts to drive um, into itself into oblivion. So uh, if I just use that open A, there we go, so we've started to get some action on the, uh, the little peak light. So I'm going to keep playing that note and then turn the gain down until this is just barely visible. Cool, so I think that's pretty good. And then what you can do is you can just um, start to put in a bit of your EQ. So I normally like a bit more bass. I'm going to take a little bit of a mid out. Uh, frequency I'll keep in the middle for now. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of treble off. So if I just check my gain structure again. Top two strings seem fine. Let's go back to the open A. as well. You notice you're getting a few little warnings there so what you want to do with this new EQ is just turn the gain down a little bit till you no longer get that peak signal. You want to make sure when you're doing this as well giving, uh, giving it some welly uh, just to make sure that you're getting like the strongest note you'll ever play so that you don't get any surprise uh, <laughs> drive coming in. Cool, so once you've, uh, once you've set your gain and you've done your EQ um, and you go back and just check your gain against the new EQ you've put in, you can then just feed in your volume. What you should find then is that you've got a really, really strong signal uh, before it even gets to, the, um, gets to the speaker. So your preamp and your gain structure is really nicely set. I mean, also um, if you're having a, like a DI from the back of the uh, back of the head unit or from a cab, it's going to be really, really nice, and it's going to be a strong signal for the engineer, uh, for like front of house to deal with, um, so that he's not having to push it out front, and it's not really going to be um, too difficult to get a really, really nice bass sound from having such a strong signal. Cool. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more bass videos.